Hello everyone, I'm this guy here. Well, this is actually my alternate account, but it's still me. And on this channel, I welcome you to the first installment of the new series, Sesame Record Reviews. And if you couldn't tell by the title, it's where I review some of the records that I have. And some of the records in the videos may be two-in-ones because they reflect on the two or more records that I got in one day. And what a good way to start it off is to review with the first Sesame record I ever got. Conveniently, it's one of the first Sesame records that came out before Sesame Street's own record company. And, and I present to you, incoming Big Bird voice, the Muppet Alphabet album starring Jim Henson's Muppets from Sesame Street. And if you couldn't already tell by that title, it's a record all about... Well, the alphabet. And you know, we get one track for each letter of the alphabet, whether it's a song, a little skit, or even a story. And, he, and as you can see on this nice little cover here, we got some of the Muppet characters. And keyword Muppet alphabet album. It's only Muppets in this record, and none of the live human characters like Bob or Gordon, and you know... And look at them, just holding the letters that start their names. You know, like E is for Ernie, B is for Bert, C is for Cookie, F is for Farley, G is for Grover, S is for Sherlock, X is for Harry, Q is for... Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so not all of them hold the letters that start their name. Now if we take a little look at the back cover... Let's see, we got the tracks over here. We've got some well-known facts about the... Well, it's more descriptions of the people behind the record. And the other Sesame Street records. Let's see, the tracks got some of the beloved songs. Why are they beloved? Well, some of these tracks, and sadly not all of them, were actually done on the show in the then-upcoming season. Season 3? Oh yeah, and there's also... A note from Jim Henson. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will read one of the paragraphs. And I will read it in one of Jim's character's voices. Can you guess who it is? I'm not sure whether you'd be surprised or not, but here we go. After a great deal of writing and planning, we recorded this with the vocal talents of Frank Oz, Carol Spinney, Jerry Nelson, and Fran Brill, our Sesame Street performers, one of the most talented groups of puppeteers in the country. Many long hours were spent in the studio, and this is what we have to show for our efforts. <laughs> yup, it's Ernie. I did. And you know, let's read some of the descriptions right here. Let's see, we got uh, Joe Raposo, musical director of Sesame Street and the Electric Company. His delightful music for the Muppets include the TV specials of the Frog Prince, Hey Cinderella, and the Great Santa Claus Switch. Over here... Jerry Nelson, actor and puppeteer and featured member of the Muppet group for the last several years, is known on Sesame Street as Herbert Birdsfoot, Sherlock Hemlock, Farley, Harry Monster, and various anything Muppets. Yeah, I tried doing it in a Jerry voice, and you know that he also plays a Snuffleupagus, Count, and even Frazzle, but we all know they didn't exist at the time this record was done. And by the way, I should probably mention that this is the 1976 reissue by the actual Sesame Record Company. Let's see. You can tell by uh, this label right here. This was done for the 1976 issue. And I also heard that there was actually no box right here for that particular issue. And yet the original record name is still the same. The original Columbia and doesn't say CTW or anything. And also the other Sesame Record portions right here. These actually reflect the records that were done prior to 76. You know, some 1974 and the 1975 records there. And also the inside gatefold sleeve. We have yet to take a look at that. It originally didn't come like this. It's a pretty nice illustration of some of the words that start with particular letters 
and some illustrations that might not be acceptable on a kid's show today. See, there was originally a blackboard on this side where you can write the letters and all. I'm not, I'm not sure if I have plans on getting the original issue, but it's a very still nice record. And let's also take a look at the record itself. Okay, so we got the actual record on my Victrola record player. It's in pretty nice condition. Let's give it a little play here at the beginning. Hold on a sec. Here we go. Yeah, but there are some skips. Hmm, let me find one. I know just where it is. Let me see. Give me a moment. Here we go. There it is. It does contain a couple skips, but I still accepted it, and it's still a nice record regardless. And thus concludes the first installment of the Sesame Record Review series. And will I make more of this series? Yes the fuck I will. And like I said, there's also going to be two records in one in some episodes. And I should remind you that next episode's going to be a two or more in one video episode. So, have a nice day everybody.